Hi travelers, Tara here. I hope that um, everyone had a pretty decent um, Valentine's Day. I know that some in the nation uh, did not have a very life-changing um, Valentine's Day. Um, we also just came through the eclipse and I don't want you to um, really draw any conclusions from what I'm about to say but I found it very very interesting that this uh, kid in Florida um, the shooter fell between those two eclipses uh, somebody reported him way back in September of last year but they also reported him uh, in January so we know that we had our August 31st eclipse of that was the big one the August I'm sorry 21st eclipse then we had our January 31st eclipse and then the very next day. So that's what I mean when I say that sometimes eclipses can hide things. It's literally like this this kid was hiding in plain sight and nobody saw him. Um, and so I'm not making the inference that that occurred because of the eclipse. Please don't misunderstand me. But that is how the astrology kind of played out for me. I thought that was a very interesting um, coincidence and I do not believe really in coincidences everything um you know has a reason why it occurs um so anyway to make a long story short we're going to go ahead and get into um this reading this is just going to be an open reading um for no set time frame uh for no specific sign same sex heterosexual um i i realized um that my tarot readings uh option was missing from my menu i just realized that today so if anybody came to the side wanting to get a reading and uh you didn't see the information there it's because somehow or another got all moved around so i got that fixed and the straight no chaser uh reading is up so for the uh to book that that product is up so we're just gonna lay um i'm using the radiant white deck and we're gonna clarify with the <laughs> la vida civilas um, if you think you'd like a reading, you can simply click on the eye here in the corner and that will take you directly over to the website. Go over, take a look around. Um, I do have three membership levels. I'm working on a fourth one. Haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I have a new cat and his name is Leo. So, um, <laughs> he's a character. All right, let's go ahead and lay the cards and, uh, see what they have to say. Eight of Coins, wow, Eight of Cups, there we go, and the Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, nice recovery, Two of Cups, wow, and the Ace of Coins, nice recovery, nice recovery, Ten of Cups, wow, Ace of Cups, so I have two Aces here. Oh, wow. And the Knight of Swords. Now, I only have one. I have no major Arcana cards in this spread. However, what I do have is the only eclipsed moon in the deck. Now, January 31st was um, a lunar eclipse, was a full moon lunar eclipse. And then we had the um, partial solar eclipse yesterday on the 16th of today's the 17th. I don't even know what day it is. Let's see what's underneath the deck. Eight of Wands, and this is our overarching enemy. Uh, enemy, Och overarching uh, energy. Um, right off the bat, I have um, two aces, and two aces speak to. Um, for some, this is the idea, or, or perhaps the uh, of. Um, I think it's uh, the possibility of a pregnancy. The announcement, if not a pregnancy, then we're looking at a birth. Okay, that's a metaphorical uh, pregnancy, something that you're starting, you're, you're working on, it's in the first stages, you've conceived of something. Um, and um, two aces also bring, uh, represent um, a new partnership. Now, I also have two aces right here at the very top. I have the eight of coins and then the eight of cups. And two eights in a reading... Uh, speak to um, news that will affect the relationship. 
That's one. Don't do it, Leo. I'm going to show you these hit him in a little bit. He's such a good-looking cat. He really is. And the other two eights, uh, one of them is you will see, receive news that um, will affect the relationship. And then the other two eights uh, says that there uh, implies that there may be a slight concern in regards to a new romance relationship or partnership. Now, we see that here right in the center. That's the two of cups. Now, most, there's, this is all cups down the center. Most uh, tarot card readers will um, just look at the two of cups to speak about a love relationship. But it really represents all forms of partnership. But it is that kind of partnership that you have in conjunction with another person, um, another group, um, uh, another organization or uh, association um, that really um, is quite beneficial for everybody involved. You just kind of get each other. The energy is there. You feel supported. You support the other person. Everything is lovely. Now, um, for some of you, you, there's something I think either you have been working on. This is past, present, future, past, present, future. Um, something that you guys have been working on. Some of you have really, in a, in a sense, maybe even have been working very hard. And the reason why I say that is like this eight of coins. You see, that guy's literally making money. But this card also is the idea the coins represent the physical plane. So this this also represents the idea that um, whatever it is that you've been working on, um, you've been giving it your all, you've been putting the nose to the grindstone, and you're almost done with whatever it is. Hold on. Hey, hey, you need to knock that off. Don't do it. Thank you. Um, that you're almost nearing the end of this thing. Um, uh, you're, it's the apprenticeship card. So whatever you've been working on or whatever you've been going through, um, the coins represent the physical plane. So this is the actual doing of something, not just about making money, although for some of you it could be that, that you're you're coming near the end of this cycle. Um, the Eight of Cups is a really odd kind of a card. Um, falling behind that because it, the implication is that you have walked away from whatever this thing is. That for some reason you you feel as though um, maybe it's not for you, um, it doesn't feel right, um, it doesn't fit into whatever your plans are. Uh, this can also be the indication of some kind of um, separation of walking away from a person. Um, the Eight of Cups is um, speaking about trying to get some emotional clarity. All right, because I, that's how I read the cups. I don't read them just as love. It's it's about emotions, and we have, there's anger, there's fear, there's joy, there's sadness. Um, there's all kinds of emotions that we have. So this tells me that some event occurring around this eclipse, and it may go back to the August twenty first eclipse. Okay, because eclipses come in pairs. Um, where whatever this thing was that you were working on diligently, you were putting your all into it. You just kind of walked away from it. And then we come into this nine of wands. Now, the nine of wands is a funny kind of card because the nine of wands says, okay, uh, you know what? I've already been through that. It's actually eight wands is what it is. So you've gotten eight wands behind you uh, by no easy feat is what this is showing me. So maybe some of you are just tired. Maybe you don't have the emotional energy to carry on for a moment. So you, you take a break. This card is about perseverance. It's about determination. Uh, it is about... Um, getting back up when you've been kicked down. But sometimes this card can turn out to be, um, you think that you know how a situation is going to turn out, okay? So you put your defenses up, all right? And this is a card I'm going to look at. But we see moving through this that the Six of Wands comes in as if something comes in suddenly to rescue you or you get your second win. Um, this is not a message card. That's not what I'm getting. The, uh, the, the overall energy is the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is a funny card because it speaks to news, it speaks to messages, it speaks to travel. Uh, sometimes it's a short distance, sometimes it's it's a far distance, you know, foreign travel. Um, it, it can be about uh, exports and imports and the internet, but the implication is that whatever this thing is, it comes in quite suddenly and quite fast. The Wands are representing this fire energy. This is Mercury and Sagittarius. And a lot of times when I see this card, it means that whatever is coming or has come just kind of came out of nowhere at you, right? Uh, if it hasn't arrived yet, then this card is telling you that something is coming 
and whatever it is that, that's coming, you better hold on because there's going to be a lot of things happening. And I see that here, okay? Um, so the Six of Wands implies that there's some kind of victory. So maybe for some of you, this uh, Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands combination was the idea of um, perhaps you having to take a step back and get, again, like I said, and get real clear on what it is that made you walk away or why you felt you had to walk away or what was not right with that situation. Um, for some of you, I do think that you are uh, have decided that you're going to wade back in. I think for others of you, perhaps maybe you might still be trying to determine what this is all about. Remember, we're talking about a slight concern of a new um, relationship. So this could be some kind of terms and conditions that came up. You know, maybe you had to sign a contract or you were asked to sign a contract or go into partnership. Maybe it's a prenuptial ag agreement. And all of a sudden you, you sit down to read it and write it. And you're like, wait a minute, you know, I don't like that. Or I don't like the implication. or I don't like the way, you know, that's worded. Or I don't like the way that made me feel. But we see that something, there's some kind of victory. Maybe some of your friends came in and spoke to you. But this card implies that there is a victory here. But this card is also uh, letting you know that you didn't get there by yourself, right? You see those groups of people that you had some kind of help and support. And a lot of times this card is about being a leader, okay? It is a Leo kind of a card. It, and it represents Leo. I can't remember. I think it's Jupiter in Leo. But it represents that leadership role. That whatever this nine of wands represented, you were able to resolve that, those three wands. And again, those three wands speak to something new beginning, some new kind of partnership, some new kind of negotiation coming. And then here we have the two of cups. And on the back side of that is this lovely ace of pentacles. And this ace of pentacles is saying to me that whatever this thing is, it's going to not only perhaps bring you a new financial opportunity, but it's also going to present you the opportunity to do something a different way. This could even be your whole life changing. Okay. See that path there. There's an opportunity for you to take a new path. All right. Um, for some of you, I do feel that this is perhaps about a family or um, that sense of belonging, but this card also represents that extreme emotional contentment. Like everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Every person Everything is right. Everything's in its place. You know, I couldn't have asked this. There's Skittles falling from the sky. There's sunshine. There's rainbows. There's doves. There's unicorns. There's all that stuff, right? And here's this beautiful Ace of Cups. So whatever this thing is, it's really going to bring you an opportunity uh, also for a fresh emotional start. It's going to give you the opportunity to rid yourself of all those negative things. Um, <clears throat> that maybe you've been struggling with when it comes to partnerships. Maybe this has uh, been issues of um, insecurity, uh, infidelity, lack of trust, um, lack of self-esteem. Maybe it's been abuse or harsh words. Whatever this thing is, it's giving you an opportunity to shed those neg negative uh, emotional aspects and pattern of thoughts, okay, to gain something new. And in a way, I, I keep kind of hearing that whatever this thing is, it's been blessed, okay? It really is a gift coming to you. And again, it is coming quite soon. Now, this is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords represents Gemini, okay? This is the a Gemini card. Um, if this is representative of a person, this is a young, perhaps air sign individual. But to me, this card is, is really about that idea of somebody changing gears, okay, and coming back in. Hey, <laughs> okay, wait, there's something I want to say. Now, I don't know what this means. And the reason why I say that, and it falls here with this nine of wands, is because sometimes the knight of swords is not a very nice person. He can come in and break up, you know, the riffraff, tear shit up, say ugly things, uh, knock over the punch bowl, get drunk, fall down, okay? Fight with all your friends. This is what the Knight of Energy can represent. But this card also represents uh, the third house of communication. And this is the only message that I see in the actual spread right here. So I'm not sure if this Knight is coming in to disturb the peace or is coming in to say, yay, you know, I'm happy for you. 
Um, this card represents neighborhoods. Uh, it represents um, early, edu edu uh, early education, which would be pre-K up to high school. It represents siblings. So this could be one of your siblings announcing perhaps that they're getting married. They're coming in to tell you or they're coming in to say, yay, I'm happy for you. If you're getting married or getting engaged. Um, uh, but it also represents neighborhoods and communities. Okay. So this could be something locally, some event happening. And I always read the nights like events. This is some kind of event happening. And it's either going to involve um, uh, your neighborhood where you live or your community, something going on there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at this. Uh, you know, this could even be the return of somebody. It it, it 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 reads like that, yes, but in looking at the cards, I'm really not getting any sense of this being really an air sign individual. I, I can say that because it, it represents the air sign, right? Um, I'm one, two, three, four. I'm heavily weighted towards the cups. So whatever this thing is, it's going to be highly emotional. It has already, I think, been highly emotional for some of you. The nine is that moment of perfection. And this could be our pause moment here for some of you. And the offer comes in. Hey, take it or leave it. Um, because this also is a, a representative of a commerce kind of a card. Um, having to get up some and go somewhere really quick. Um, it reads, it's a part, I'm, this is what I'm going to tell you. It's a partnership. Now, for some of you, this could actually be a romance, a love relationship. Um, maybe some of you went on vacation. Oh, man, I'm just quitting my work. Went on vacation. <laughs> and you haven't been able to get your mind off your work, right? And then suddenly, all of your friends come along and say, oh, come on. And you end up, you know, not only having a good time with your friends, but maybe for some of you, you have met someone new. Um, we see all this stuff, but this Knight of Swords, he's a tricky character. Um, most tarot card readers will read him as being somebody really nasty and abrasive. <clears throat> and that's not always the case. Um, it could just be somebody really, really excited. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> the only reason that I'm going to read on him is because of the clouds, the angle at which the clouds are sitting. Because it reads like something comes out kind of <clears throat> confusing. Doesn't necessarily make it bad. Let's look at what this uh, Nine of Wands is talking about. Because it's in the future vertical column. Okay. Either this is um, you saying to yourself, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do this. And this is you uh, running back into that offer. Okay, look, I accept. Or this could be you still having a bit of doubt. And this is showing, that's why that's showing up as that. See the way the clouds are angled in that? Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Now, wow. Here we are. The three cards are the messaggeri. A message from far away. The reunione. Now, this card is about a meeting. It could also be about a reunion. Uh, I have seen this card sometimes show up as um, a job interview, but I don't think so. And what I'm looking at is the Dona Maritata. So what I think this is saying to me is that um, I think some of you have gotten some news that either someone has reunited with the Dona Maritata or the news has come in that someone wants to partner up. They want you to be a Dona Maritata. And she represents respect for a married woman, but she can also just represent that energy of somebody who nurtures and cares. You know, there's children here. There's children. There's, two, there's children here and there's children here. Can you see that? So this really reads like some kind of, of romantic partnership. Now, the message from far away, the messaggeri, might be uh, a hint that this is somebody who is returning. And if they are coming, they are coming at quite a, a good clip. 
In fact, I would say that you're going to, they're going to surprise you. This card usually indicates travel by air. With this card, this tells me that they're going to take a, a train, they're going to take a plane and a car to get to where you are. Okay? Remember, there weren't no damn vehicles back in the day. So we can look at this like either a horse or a train. But they're going to be taking multiple modes of transportation to get back. Now, let's take a look at this uh, Knight of Swords. And the cards are being so silent as to who this really is. I can't say it's a water sign. I can't say it's an earth sign. They're not giving me any information. Like I said, this card to me, my knights always show up as events. They don't show up as people. <laughs> well. Speranza. What this is telling me, this is somebody making a return and they're coming back at a clip. They're coming back quite fast. There is no timing in the tarot. Now, if you want to know about your situation, that requires a personal reading. This is general. So everybody who's waiting on somebody to come back, that may not happen for everybody. Okay. You have to, the reading has to be specific to you. This is just general. But what this is telling me, and it's, it's a very interesting card, uh, spread of cards, and I'm, after a week of being away from you guys, I'm glad I can bring this message to some of you. But I, I don't want everybody to go, oh, yeah, 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 and get all your hopes up. The card is hope, speranza. But this card also speaks to fear. There is the Lamante male. Now, I don't know if maybe some of you are married yourselves and you got back with your husband. And that lover that you had in, in that separation time is, is coming back. I don't know. But this is requited love. And there is the superbia. Now, superbia is a card about arrogance and haughtiness and vanity. And we can say maybe somebody just shows up and start talking out the side of their neck. But really what this is telling me is that someone is coming back. They realized, because thoughts are words, beliefs, perceptions, ideas, okay, concepts. They realize that they've been arrogant. They realize that they've perhaps uh, shown themselves in a manner which, you know, peacocks are quite mean birds. They're very lovely, but they are awfully mean. They're very loud, they're brash, uh, and can be quite aggressive. Um, but I, I feel what these cards are telling me is that someone is coming back uh, in, in a way to kind of show you their true colors, how they really feel about you. And they are hoping that they get there in time, that you, when they arrive, that there's nobody else there for you. I mean, that you're about to or that you're in partnership with. I think for some of you, this might be the return of an old lover just as you are meeting somebody new. I also feel that for some of you, you may have separated from a loved one uh, and decided you're going to work that out. And while you guys were separated, there's the, 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 the spouse comes back uh, or you guys get back together uh, and then the lover comes back. But this could also be the idea or the concept that now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you met somebody new and they went back to their spouse. Or they weren't done with their spouse. Let's put it that way. You know how that crap go. All right? I don't know. So that's what I have for you. I hope those messages help. <laughs> uh, again, you know, that's not going to play out for everybody. So if you got something on your mind, come on over to the website. You can book a reading with me. And I do hope to see you. So until next time, namaste.